Why do we breathe into paper bags when we're having a panic attack? It's an interesting question, right? That's the first thing that anyone thinks about when someone's having a panic attack. It's, oh, we'll get them a paper bag to breathe in. But why? What's actually going on there? Because if you think, a panic attack feels like you can't get enough oxygen in, right? And yet we know that when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. So when we breathe into a bag, it would seem like we're filling the bag with carbon dioxide that we're then going to breathe in, and it's going to reduce our oxygen intake. Well, it turns out that that is exactly what we're trying to do. Because far from having too little oxygen when we're having a panic attack, we actually have too much. We start hyperventilating, breathing as fast as we can, which takes too much oxygen into the body. This then freaks us out and ironically makes us feel like we need more oxygen. And so we start hyperventilating faster, which brings even more oxygen in. And it becomes this feedback cycle where we think we're not getting enough oxygen. Actually, we've got too much. So the reason that breathing into a paper bag is helpful is actually we want to start breathing in some of that carbon dioxide that we're expelling to reduce the levels of oxygen in our body. As we do that, we breathe in more carbon dioxide. It's not dangerous because we've already got loads of oxygen in there. Then we start to calm down, our breathing returns to normal and the panic attack fades. 